I grew up in New England, uh, working class. Not white trash, okay? Uh, more like white recycling. <laughs> Still garbage, just cleaner. <laughs> I'm like if Theo Vaughn had an education. That's kind of my vibe. <laughs> oh, good, you got the Theo Vaughn reference. Good, good. All right. Yeah, my dad uh, gave me a pearl of wisdom about relationships. He said, marriage is the first step to divorce. <laughs> first had that talk, I was six. <laughs> my parents divorced when I was a baby. I don't remember them together. <laughs> <laughs> We're just coming around to that one, all right. I love it. I love it. You enjoy yourself, man, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so to this day, my mom still hates my dad. It's like time to let it go, Ma. I mean, what kind of person do you have to be to hold a grudge for half a century? Italian, it turns out. <laughs> I'm half Italian, half Polish, uh, which means I love pizza, but I eat the crust first. I <laughs> can't help it. Just can't help it. Never married, no kids, not gay. Not that it matters, of course. Just seems like you gotta pick a label these days. Hey, look, I'm Generation X. We didn't have all the labels like kids have today. I was growing up, you were either gay, straight, or prince. <laughs> Those were the only options. Today, I'm a cisgender, heteronormative, pansexual, sometimes demisexual, polyamorous dude. <laughs> Which I always thought was just a dude. I don't know. Look, I don't like to label myself because I think deep down inside, we're all the same. Like every hetero dude here, just a meth addiction away from sucking a dick. <laughs> if we're being honest. Another thing about me is I'm hard of hearing. I was born that way, I wear hearing aids. Uh, being hard of hearing, the only disability you outgrow. Okay, not the hearing part, but the way the world treats you. So I was a little kid running around with hearing aids. I was so cute. They treated me special, sat me in front of the class. I was a gifted child. Now I'm just fucking middle-aged. <laughs> no one gives a shit. Just like every other idiot that blasted music in their headphones for 40 years. <laughs> Who walks around saying what all the time. Right? Everyone, you know, everyone's got one in their family. They got the TV turned up to 100, right? <laughs> Nobody in the house can hear. Everybody's yelling. Everybody's pissed. <laughs> now, obviously, I'm not totally deaf. I'm Deaf Light. <laughs> That's my rap name. They call me Deaf Light. What? My name is, huh? My name is Deaf Light. <laughs> it just needs the right producer. <laughs> Being hard of hearing is like having a superpower, right? Because I'm not deaf enough where it affected my speech or my ability to hear and listen to music, but I am deaf enough to block out a lot of noise. <laughs> A lot of shit we don't want to hear anyway, you know? Ah, unbelievable. Yeah, so I'm a person with a disability on a technicality, really, you know? I think all people with disabilities should be treated equally, though, amongst ourselves. I don't see any reason why I shouldn't be able to get the handicapped spot. What, your disability is better than mine? <laughs> I'm just saying, it seems kind of arbitrary where they draw the line, right? Like what, you got fibromyalgia? Can't walk a couple extra feet? Come on. <laughs> a guy in my gym parks in the handicap spot and he's perfectly able-bodied. Like you gotta see this guy's workout. 
kettlebell swings and box jumps. Finally, I asked his trainer, a friend of mine, like, what is that guy's disability? Parked in a handicap spot. He said, guy's HIV positive. I said, I have AIDS. But life, man, life will throw you curveballs, man. I uh, woke up one morning a couple years ago with vision loss. It was the weirdest thing. Like, I could see over here fine. I couldn't see over here. Big blind spot. Terrifying, actually, because I'm already deaf, light. <laughs> and I thought, sure, I'm giving Helen Keller a run for her money here. <laughs> And then I thought about it some more, and I was like, one more disability, and I could definitely get on America's Got Talent. <laughs> what turns out, the vision loss was because I've had a stroke. Crazy, right? Wow. Crazy. Now, I, f I feel like I'm leaving you with the impression that I don't have the best luck. Like I'm under some sort of voodoo spell or something. But that's not the case, I am so lucky. It could have been so much worse. I spent five days in the hospital. I'm not your typical stand-up comic because I have health insurance. <laughs> See, lucky. But when that doctor came and told me that I had a stroke, it stopped me in my tracks and so I asked the obvious question. You think now I can get that handicap spot? <laughs> hey, thank you so much. I'm Dale Dimpassi, you guys have been great. One more time for Dale Dimkowski. Yeah.